Boxing and King Media in association with Box Row. We've got a, a very talented young man, 16 and old, seven knockouts. Um, I want to call you former English flyweight champion because I'm guessing you ain't got the belt anymore, Carl Youssef. Yeah, uh, you know, I was former English champion. Um, you know, I was on a roll. I've had 16 fights, undefeated, seven knockouts. Um, a lot of people have probably have forgotten about me, but, you know, we're back strong 2022. We're looking at a fight date, September. It's not penciled in yet, but, you know, we're going to get the ball rolling and uh, we're going to finish this year off with a bang. And 2023, I'm going to put my name on the map. Well, I'm going to rewind a little bit, Carl. So, obviously, I've followed most of your journey from, you know, 2015 when you made your debut. You know, you was knocking people out and there's not many guys that fly away that can knock people out cold and hurt them. And you was doing that regular. Uh, and then you've had, you know, a few fight cancellations. You were supposed to fight for the British title a few times. So, just tell us a little bit about, you know, why the, that British title fight didn't happen. Well, um, it was unfortunate that COVID 2020 come, come about, 2019. Um, so of course we went into lockdown and then I think it was summertime, end of summer, we got the f British title shot um, against a local lad called Tommy Frank. Um, you know, I was in longing camp, fights got cancelled, I ended up getting ill, um, we rescheduled, it just never really went about. And then end of last year, middle of last year, I ended up getting a very bad injury that I don't really want to touch too much. but. It was a, nearly a career-ending injury, and luckily I've come back from that. But just to put in, it weren't about chasing Tommy Frank. Like a lot of people think that, oh, we really... Of course, who, would, who doesn't want a Sheffield Derby? But at the end of the day, it was just fighting for that British title. And no matter who's got it, it could be, you know, best fighter in the world. But if, if he's got that British title, we want that British title shot, no matter who it is. And 100%, man, I gotta, uh, can't knock you for... Obviously, wanting to go straight back in them type of fights. Obviously, you've, you've had a long time out the ring. I can't even remember. Is it, are we talking years, two, three years? It's nearly pushing on three years now. Uh, time's flown, but um, I have been in the gym throughout the two years. But the last year, I had a bad injury. Um, you know, I was recovering from that. But luckily, you know, with a lot of physio done, a um, little bits of training, you know, it's got the hand and arm back solid again. So, no excuses. We need to get the ball rolling. And more than anything, we need to make a name for ourselves. You know, we need to do well in sport. There's a lot of Asian fighters that are really doing well for themselves, which, which is a good thing. You know, we need these Asian brothers pushing on and making big, like, you know, like just doing well for themselves. That's what it's all about, doing well for yourself and, uh, you know, making a name for yourself as well. Definitely, man. Just touching on that as well. We were talking about it off camera and from all the British Asian fighters in the UK. Uh, we was looking at who's got the longest undefeated streak and you're right in there, even though you've not fought for about three years. There's yourself, Hamza Shiraz and Raza Hamza. You know, if he wins this Saturday, next Saturday, uh, this Saturday, should I say, he'll obviously be in, in the lead. But it's great to see all you guys supporting each other. And a bit like what Hamza Shiraz said to me recently. Yeah, you know, as, as Asian fighters, we've got a... Uh We've got to push each other on, and if one's doing better than the other, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the main thing is we're happy for each other, and uh, you know, getting the Asian brothers on the scene, you can't beat it. That's what we want to see in every corner we look. We want them Asian brothers standing out, doing well for themselves, making their the, the family proud. But talking about the long streak, uh, no, you know, this undefeated streak is going to go on for a long time. Um, but let's get back to the ball rolling, as in September. Let's get a nice six to eight rounder under my belt and then we push on from there and uh, we're going to do well for ourselves. And I just want to also like address something as well because obviously I've known you for a long, long time you know, without going into detail. You know, I mean, you realistically don't need to fight. You know, fa your family is financially very, very secure. So you're in a, you're in a position where, which there's not many fighters in that position where they don't need to fight. And uh, Uzi Ahmed was a similar sort of comparison. I used to, you know, spoke to him a while ago. Um, so what drives you to fight? When you don't need to? Um, it's just the love for the game I've always had, you know, as a kid. Um, I started boxing quite late, but I've always loved it. Um, and I know that there's talent there. And it's not even about your, your family being financially secure or anything. But if you've got love for something and you don't want to do well, why waste the talent? You know what I mean? I've got that hunger. I don't know where that hunger comes from, but the hunger's there. I know I've had a bit of time off. People have said all sorts, as in like, you know, maybe he doesn't want it, maybe he wants it, it's not that, it's just that there's always bumps in the road as a fighter, people don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but, uh, you know, we're hungry, 
we're starving actually um, and I'm going to do well and people know um, you know like I don't really want to hype myself up but they know there's always talent there there's uh, I've got it all it's just now putting it on display and uh, remembering making people remember who I am and weight wise are you going to come back at flyweight or a bit heavier um, well the sixth round I'm looking at um, of course it's not going to be at the actual flyweight but I'm just going to see how my weight comes down um, I have been stuck at a certain weight for a long time so I don't know if it's possible to make flyweight but we'll only know as the weight comes down as the sparring kicks through I want to see how I feel um, I love I, of course in this game you need to have a good team strength and conditioning nutritionist um, so it's all about how the body feels I don't want to kill myself and not perform it all, it's all about the fighter being happy so I'll have to tell you that maybe after my September date fight. If you do stick around in the flyweight division, there's obviously Ijazi, Ahmed and Kadimi who have had a, just had a trilogy. The belts are all still vacant. Could you realistically make flyweight again? Um, I really don't know. It's, it's all up in the air, but if I do make that way, there's a lot of good fighters. You know, like have you seen the ones that you just mentioned? They've had, what, four fights now? Um, but honestly, truthfully, I'll beat them all. And... Like I said, let me get this September fight out of the way, the ball rolling, and all these fighters are in trouble, to be honest with you. And can we still call you the golden kid, or are we going to have to get rid of the kid? We'll get rid of the kid, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't call myself Pretty Boy from the start. You know what I mean? So I might just change it. I don't know, but I know I'm going down as a good fighter, and I've got a good, good couple of years left, five, six years. I'm going to push hard. I'm going to make myself proud more than anyone. Good man. Anything else you want to sign out with before I let you go? Uh, just to my fans, um, they probably don't know what's going on, but I'm back like I never left. The ball's going to be rolling more than ever and uh, just tune in. I've got hopefully a September fight, um, you know, just to sharpen them tools back up because no matter how much you, t you have time off, I would, I would love to go back into a British title fight, but this is why you have a team around you, you know, that guide you, tell you. And under them lights, it's always going to be different, so... Let's hope you've not left, lost hope on me, and uh, I'm gonna make my fans proud, especially my Asian fans. But, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go all the way to the top, hopefully, in show. Well, on that note, uh, Kyle, I wish you all the best, and I look forward to you banging more people out soon. Of course, that's that's me. <laughs>